Hello coders, welcome to DevBite School Day 5 session of Mastering in Angular. So today we are going to create one new project and we will see how the folder structure of Angular is and some important configuration files into the Angular. If you are new to our channel, I will highly suggest you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that whenever we are uploading the new video, you will get the notification for that. We have also created DevBite School Telegram group. QR code is visible on the screen. Link is also provided into the description. We are going to share all the resources, interview tips and tricks with you and all our new video updates. So without wasting any time, let's get started. As you can see, I have created one folder block project and we are going to create our Angular application into this folder. We have already discussed that to create a new project, the command is ng new and then project name. ng new and then project name we are going to keep as blogging website hit enter button css yes then server side rendering yes so our project is created now inside our project node underscore model folder is created so whenever we are installing a new package that is going to store into this folder then there is a source folder inside the source the default app component is created there is a html file is created then in the ts file you can see since we are using a Angular 17, it is created as a standalone component. As we have already discussed that standalone component is model independent component. Then there is the assets folder is created. Inside the assets folder, we can keep our images, then custom CSS files, then custom JS files over there. Okay, we can keep that. Then we will see some configuration files, the angular.json file. Angular.json file is the basic configuration file for Angular. In this file, we can see there is a version over here. Then we can see the source root is here. Prefix is here. Then we can see assets. Whenever we are using a external theme, that time we can mention the asset path over here. Then we can store style path over here and JavaScript paths over here. Then there is a package.json file. Basically, this file stores the metadata for Angular. So we can see the project name is over here. Then version is over here. Some basic script for start, build, then test over here. Then all our installed packages are listed over here. You can see the package name and respective versions over here. So whenever we upload a new package using npm i command, that is going to be added into this file. Then there is a one more important file, tsconfig file over here. So tsconfig file is basically TypeScript configuration file. So nothing much important about this file as of now. Whenever you are getting pro into the Angular, that time you will learn about this file. Yeah, that's it for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about components. If you like our video, share with your friends and colleagues. If you are new to our channel, I will highly suggest you to subscribe to our channel so that whenever we are uploading the new video, you will get the notification for that. Also join our telegram group. We will meet in the next video. Till then, happy coding.